Christians. Amen. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we come tonight, Lord, first to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for waking up this morning on due time, clothing our right mind. Thank you. With a reason of portion of our health and strength and the connectivity of our land. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for how you watched over this today, oh God. How you stayed in the hand of the enemy and did not allow him to have his way. Oh, yeah. We know the enemy comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. But you said that you came. That we might have life and life more abundantly. And we thank you tonight for the access that you give us to all the goodness of the Lord. We thank you, oh God, for bringing us out to your house of worship on this evening, oh God. And we thank you tonight for the honor of oh God. And Lord, we ask that you just let your presence be felt in this place on tonight, oh God. Let everyone that walks through these doors come looking for the change. That only you can bring. Yes. And Lord, we ask you to just continue, oh God, to keep us tonight yes. in the hollow of your hand because as long as you keep us, oh God, we know that we'll be kept, protected from the enemy, and we'll know that we've been protected. Bless us, Lord. And we shall be able to say yes. that we've been blessed. Yes. In Jesus' name we can pray. Amen. 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 We thank you, Elder Solomon, for that prayer. On tonight, we will receive our scripture from Deacon Jeff Torrance. Amen. Amen. Receive him as he comes. Amen. I'll be reading from Psalm 145, 8 verse. The Lord is gracious and is full of compassion. Full of compassion. Slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and is tender mercy yeah. over all yeah. his works. All my works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall be blessed. And the word of the Lord is already blessed. Amen. 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 We thank you for the reading of that scripture. We have a little thing we do at New Heart where we welcome each other in love. We greet one another and any visitors that we see. There's a song that says we're blessed in the city, blessed in the fields, blessed when we come and when we go. So can we go around and greet one another, shake a hand, share a smile, a kind word as we're here to engage and celebrate tonight. Thank you. 
continuing to have felt day to give you honor and praise. Yes. You are so worthy. To our superintendent, yeah. assistant, yeah. our pastor, yeah. our love, our friend, yeah. our immaculate yeah. Yeah. and our first name. Amen. Yeah. There's so much that I can say that has been said in the past by man. We were always fine. Oh! <laughs> 
give God praise. Yeah. Oh, God. I understand we're living in a time you better stop praising the Lord. Yeah. And stop sleeping on God. Yeah. But our purpose is not to hold you alone. Amen. It's been a long month. But we still here. Well, let me talk to the folks again. They ain't already been out there. Right. When they rolled you in. It's been a long month. But we still here. Oh, y'all back. All right. It's been a long month. But we still here. He will not die in this pool. 
Sometimes you just say amen to help us get out. Amen. amen. <laughs> Somebody shout glory. glory. Then one on the other side. And Aaron and her stayed up his hands. Sometimes you need somebody to hold up your hands. Amen. Huh? Yes. Gotta have somebody to hold them up so we can win. Yes. The key is winning. Yes. Amen. And when we learn how to win, then folk will wake up. Yes, sir. Somebody shout glory. 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 And the one on the one side and on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua, Joshua, a discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of a sword. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Moses, yeah. write this for a memorial mm -hmm. in a book and rehearse it in the ears mm -hmm. of Joshua. Mm -hmm. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of the Amalek from under heaven. We will talk from this passage here. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hand. I want to preach from this subject. Help hold up the hands of the pastor. Amen. 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 I'm saying it again. A little half clap. Let me know you ain't as faithful as you say you are. Uh -huh. yes. I say I'm going to yes. preach from this subject. Uh -huh. yes. Help yes. hold up the hands yes. of the pastor. Yes. A lot of times, yes. amen, we don't understand. Uh, God bless and thank God for Pastor Will being here to help us tonight. Amen. 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 Uh, Davis and Amen, Brother Solomon. Amen. amen. I, I had all the brothers I needed tonight. Come on, say praise the Lord. Pastor Harrington Smith with amen. us tonight. Amen. 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 Keep on Solomon, our uh, adjutant. Amen. We thank God for him and to the first lady of New Heart Ministry. Of his God. Yes. She said, I'll be made 
holders. And so there are things, a lot of things we can do with our hands that God used. Uh, uh, the, Dr. Webster described our hands as two. There are men that work concrete and uh, that plaster, amen, copper tray, yeah. and working on automobiles. Yeah. And they use their hands that, that takes care of their livelihood. Yeah. You'll have a witness yeah. here. Even in the church, preach what? Even in the church, the laying of the hand yeah. Yeah. on you when you're sick in your body. Anybody know what I'm talking about? When you were going through in your body and the preacher asked you to come up. You ever been called to the altar? You ever walked to the altar and, then, and as the preacher began to anoint you or the woman of God began to anoint you and then they began to lay hands on you and then the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I wasn't feeling good when I got here but oh! When I shook the hands of the preacher, when yeah. the woman of God laid their hands, I walked by Mother Davis and, I, and she didn't have to tap me, but the spiritual hand of God. Tribulation yes. already brought us out 
and pain. And then we walk in confidence, knowing that greater is He that is within the world. Do I have a witness here? It's greater within me. Thank you. 
I want to let the devil know that I got the victory. And every now and then, you got to come out. I don't know what's going on in your life. We get ready to come out.
you ought to have a place yes, that you can go back and revisit yes, sir. that will remind you yes, sir. of your victory. Yes, sir. We always talk about we went on vacation, we had a good time at this place, we had a good time at that place. You telling me you don't have a spiritual place? That you can go to or in your mind that will cause you to cut up. You can't think about where you met him. Stand on my brother. I can't make you feel it. Isn't that right, brother? Pastor, you got oil? Pastor, I'm going to have them come back quick. I want you to just anoint their hand. Just pull. They ain't, ain't got to say that them that want their hand. I'm going to tell you now, whatever the situation is, lay your hands on them. So there are some needs in here tonight. Man. I don't have to call them out. You know them. And it comes to the point how bad you want something from God. God don't care about how cute you think you are. God don't care about how handsome you think you are. You got to have a humble heart. And when you want something from God, you got to get it. Look here. When your situation is ugly, you owe God a love you pray. You can't get rid of it. And you, you got cancer in your body. Hallelujah. And diabetes is just running you crazy. When I got a, a tough situation.
tried to jump and couldn't jump. I saw some of you go up. <laughs> <laughs> I understand when you're in service all week. This the last night until Sunday. Yeah, I understand that. Now we get ready to give. You that on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. Amen. You can give to this church and all of the New Heart members that didn't make it that's watching. Amen. Get me good, brother Adam. You got me. That's watching. Cash out now to the church. Do your job. Amen. Because I'm going to represent you either way. Amen. 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 Now we're getting ready to give today 16 years yes. of us. Amen. That's 32 years. Mm -hmm. Here it <laughs> We can get more out of our preachers than other folks. We require more out of us than the other folk do. Amen. We pull more on our preaching than anybody does. Amen. We call it for everything. Yes. Don't get sick now. Don't have a pain. Yes. If he don't get right back with you, I told you. Right. <laughs> oh my God. The Bible said call for the elders of the church. Yeah. I couldn't get the pastor. He ain't the elder. He the pastor. Amen. They missed that part. Scripture knowledge. The pastor is the overseer, but how many elders in this church? One. So when you can't get the pastor, call the elder. Let him pray for him. When you're in the hospital, call the elder. Yes. Let him go out with a sick head and lay hands on him.